Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be doing something really fun. I haven't done in a few weeks. We're going to be doing a Wanderlust pour, which is one of the classes that I am teaching at Fluid Art Boutique. If you haven't yet, please check out our website at fluidartboutique.com. Me and Sarah Mack and Karen Dershin and Fosia from Fosia Creations and Erica Hughes and Fiona from Fiona Art and Nate Bright Art are all going to be teaching in Dublin, Ireland in June of 2024. I am so excited. We're going to be painting in a castle which is just going to be amazing so check out our website please at fluidartboutique.com for more information and get your tickets today so we're going to be doing a wanderlust pour which i'm very excited about this is a 15 by 30 inch gallery wrap canvas from artist loft i have taped and pinned the back and i have painted my sides and edges with my base coat color let me show you the base coat color first this is beautiful Indigo Prussian Blue. Started out as Prussian Blue and I added a little bit of black to it to deepen it up just a bit. Beautiful color. Not super, super thick on the base coat. Slightly thinner than everything else. A mound on a mound and then sinking into itself very quickly. So that's our base coat color, the Prussian Blue Indigo. Then some of the colors that we're using are amazing. This first one is one of my favorites. This is Golden's Permanent Violet Dark. Absolutely stunning color. Just delicious. Love that one. We're also using permanent violet red, or permanent red violet from Amsterdam, which is this one. Did I say it right? Permanent red violet, yeah, okay. Permanent red violet, beautiful color. And then we have one more in our pinky purple tone that we're using. This is Pebio Studio Acrylics in iridescent violet blue, which is very, very pretty. And this is a lovely pink color with a little bit of a blue shimmer on it. Can you see that HOA? Mm -hmm. Really cool stuff. As Joey would say, it's delicious. Delicious. <laughs> okay, and we're also using my sweetheart, my 24 karat gold from DecoArt Americana Decor Metallics. Beautiful stuff. Just gorgeous. And we have here, inspired by Tiffany from Willie B Studios and my friend Nate, who just did a cloud pour collab. This is uh, Decor Americana Decor in satin enamels in pure white and some chromacryl in white. And there's a little tiny bit of Sargent's acrylic pearling, pearl mixing medium in there with my pouring medium and some water. So we're gonna do our fingerlings and see if we get any cloudy effects. So we're going to try our Wanderlust pour and hopefully some of the fingerlings will have that beautiful poofy cloudy effect. So let's get started. It's over. Okay. So first we're going to layer a couple of cups to do our Wanderlust pour. And I'm going to start with a tiny bit of white in the bottom. Just a little bit. And then we're going to go a little bit of gold. And we're going to come in with that permanent red violet first. And we're going to use the iridescent blue violet. And then we're going to put some permanent violet dark on top of that. And then we're going to lather, rinse, repeat. <laughs> White. Gold. And then red violet. Blue violet. You'll notice I'm using smaller layers of white and gold and bigger layers of my colors. If 
because the white and the gold are accents and they are barriers to create contrast for us. But we want our colors to be more prominent than anything else. Okay, that worked out perfectly. Now I'm gonna put one more layer of white on top of each one and I will show you why when we are pouring them. Okay. Scoop these over. You two go over here. And you come on over here. All right, so we're gonna take some of our base coat color and we're gonna put it here in the center. I'm just gonna tilt that out just a little bit. So this is actually what we're gonna be pouring into or on top of. And I'm gonna go one going this way and then we're gonna have the other one going this way. And that's gonna create all of those beautiful fingerlings in the center for us, like a really pretty flower. I'm gonna torch that really quick, just because it looks very bubbly. Alrighty, so I'm gonna move this this way. I'm turning the canvas so that my arm can move straight. All right. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? I lost that I am. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> Can I get an R? <laughs> All right, here we go. Now watch that first layer of white. Watch what it does. Here we go. anything. Just letting the paint come out of the cup. So that first layer of white, I don't know if you can see it, we can see it over here really well, but it provides this like white outer layer, which when it gets stretched out, it's very, very pretty. Ah, there's a fly, oh my God. Okay, this is really beautiful. I'm loving all these fingerlings and this is the edge that we're gonna be working with. Okay, so we're gonna turn this around and now I'm gonna pour this one in this direction and I'm gonna try to kind of overlap the edge a little bit are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Just we can. Start right over here. Here we go. And I intentionally want to cover that line so we're overlapping. There we go. Sticks the 
Okay, so this is perfect. I'm not so much concerned about this edge because this is probably going to get tilted off, but this part is what I'm very happy with, that we didn't end up with that one line of gold or the one line of the base coat color in between where it is overlapping. So now when we stretch this out, we're going to get these beautiful fingerlings and these beautiful fingerlings and this and this on the sides. So this is perfect. I'm going to put a little bit more of our base coat around the edges and spread that out. All right, let's tilt this out. So the part that we want to maximize is right here in the center. I love this edge and I love this edge. Not so much this white and this white. So let's see if we can do this. All right, this edge right here is gorgeous. All right, let's find the way to the paint. We're gonna walk it down nice and easy. Move it over to that corner now. I'm going to get rid of some of that white on the edge. Shove this over just a little. Bring this back to the center. Like the layered gradation you got in the white that's closest to you. Yeah. So I'm just gonna go off this edge first. Do you have a set method for how you tilt or you kind of adapt as you as the paint moves? Like one corner back, the other corner back, one corner back, or do you just kind of zen it? Um, kind of zen it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm trying to think right now. I don't think we're going to get any negative space on this one. Thought I smelled smoke. Push. <laughs> take this back down so that line of the fingerlings is in the middle. So now essentially what we've done is kept the part that I said we wanted to keep in the center with all those pretty fingerlings and we've gotten rid of all the rest. I kind of like that crushing on the edges in there. Should I just leave that in there? Yeah. Okay. I love that high ride flamey part with the gold there closest to, closest to me. That's the laundry. Yeah. There's a little bit too much paint right there. We might have to lose some of this. Take a little bit off and then stretch it back. Okay, this is looking cool though. I like that. Super cool. might actually be one of the best wanderlust pours I've ever done. I really like those, it's making me very happy. Is there something in here? Yes, there is. Okay. Fix it now. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. If I do, it'll just mess it up even more. But 
This is looking awesome. Let me wipe my hands off so I'm gripping it. Perfect. So these fingerlings in here butted up against these and this river in between is really, really beautiful. I'm loving that. I'm loving right here where there's a little bit of the Prussian left. Wish we'd managed to keep some on these other corners too, but that's okay. I'm not going to stress about it. Um, let me kind of put this down a little bit. those white poofy cells that we're getting so we're just gonna stop right there I think that's pretty cool I like that I like it a lot I love these fingerlings in here I love this part with these boulder cells I love this movement and this part here with the gold and the Prussian blue is really really pretty so I'm very happy with this so I'm actually not going to torch it again because I don't want a plethora of little teeny tiny bubbles coming up so we're just going to leave it like this and I will show you guys when it is dry. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful week. We'll see you real soon. Mmm, that's pretty. Okay, welcome to an extraordinarily windy day in Southern California. <laughs> this is our dried teas, and this one came out so pretty. I am absolutely in love with this. I think these details in here are just stunning. All of these beautiful fingerlings in the center, and these gorgeous lines. And I love these corners with that Prussian blue indigo base. So pretty, just a gorgeous contrast to everything. Wonderful, wonderful details in here and a really pleasant surprise for me that uh, Pebio, the iridescent violet blue, has always kind of played with me, but I actually see it this time. Can you see that sort of electric blue up there in the corner? And then all through the center section, I'm going to see if I can get the angle right so you guys can see it in there because it's really, really cool. It's kind of hard for me to see in direct sun, but... I hope you guys can see that sort of magic trick that happens, which is really awesome. So this was a lot of fun. This one kind of reminds me of a river, my river of love. <laughs> We're sort of having a, a very romantic themed <laughs> couple of weeks because of Valentine's Day. So thank you guys so much for being here with us today. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please hit that like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more stuff. And if you hit the notification, then uh, you will be notified whenever I upload new content. So this was awesome. Thank you all so much for being here. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.